direttamente dagli studi di casa mia come sempre sono qui con un ospite che già conoscete un mio amico direttamente da in questo momento Tokyo ma lui non è di Tokyo è di Nagano se avete già visto i miei video già lo conoscete sono qui con Thanks for having me guys, come stai? Oh bene, tu? Bene? Bene is actually Italian, huh? Bien is actually Spanish. I've been watching Narcos, telling a lot of Spanish, so... He's like, I've been learning Spanish, I know how to do that. Yeah, that's all what they say. So today we're here to talk about a topic that I love. I love to talk about stereotypes. Stereotypes that the Japanese people have about Italians. Because you might not know, but Italy is a pretty popular country in Japan. Yeah, but... pizza, pasta, Girolamo. Oh my god, Girolamo? I didn't know who he was and now I obviously know who he is because everybody's like, oh, do you know Girolamo? And I'm like, who's Girolamo? So now this time did the work. So I'm here to listen to what he says. I asked him to write down some stereotypes that the Japanese people have about Italy and Italian. So this is basically my video, so give me all the credit. <laughs> I'm ready. Ragazzi, scusate, interrompo questo video interessantissimo per parlarvi di un'altra proposta molto interessante che è lo sponsor di oggi, Cambly. Cambly che è una piattaforma online su cui potete imparare l'inglese, imparare, migliorare, fare pratica, perfezionare. Questo mese con il mio codice sconto offre Bene sì, il 55% di sconto sui piani annuali, sia per le lezioni singole che per le lezioni di gruppo. Gruppo sempre gruppi piccolini, così è sempre possibile fare conversazione, l'insegnante è sempre madrelingua. Quindi questo vuol dire che un mese di lezione viene a partire da 17,99€. Purtroppo, questa è colpa mia, io sto facendo uscire questo video a fine mese e questo sconto è valido solo fino alla fine di questo mese, aprile. Quindi io davvero ragazzi vi consiglio di non perdervelo perché è uno sconto molto alto il 55%. Un mese a 17,99€, insegnanti madrelingua sempre disponibili sia dal cellulare che dal computer. Non ci sono praticamente scuse per non migliorare il vostro inglese, anche perché le lezioni sono adatte a tutti i tipi di livelli. Vengono personalizzate in base al tuo obiettivo. Se il tuo obiettivo è fare amicizia e viaggiare è un conto, se il tuo obiettivo è superare un esame all'università o un esame specifico per qualcosa è un altro, se il tuo obiettivo è un colloquio di lavoro un altro ancora e l'insegnante lo sa. In più il tempo della lezione è personalizzabile. Se voi avete 15 minuti per fare lezione, un po' di pratica, potete approfittarne e fare pratica dal cellulare durante quei 15 minuti. In più Cambly offre tantissime risorse che non sono solo durante la lezione ma sono anche fuori nella piattaforma. L'intelligenza artificiale che ti fa fare pratica, ci sono articoli di giornale che sono adattati a seconda del tuo livello dove puoi appunto fare pratica di lessico, lettura, grammatica. I materiali sono davvero tanti, io vi consiglio di andarlo a vedere, io qui sotto in info box lascio il link. Vi ricordo che ancora per pochi giorni, raga, colpa mia, ci ho avuto dei problemi questo mese nel montare, avete accesso al 55% di sconto. Una lezione di prova di 30 minuti viene 1 euro. C'è che rao, non c'è niente da perdere. The number one is basically people from all over the world have for Italians optimistic. Optimistic? Can you explain that better? Like, what's optimistic? If we Japanese have problem, we would say, oh, that's too bad. How should we do? We have to find a solution, right? Like, we have to solve the problem. I think Italians are more like, oh, no, it's okay. That'll do. Like, whatever. It should be fine. Like, you don't think, like, heavily about the problem. So it's not that we're optimistic. Like, everything is gonna be fine. I'm sure it's fine. It's like, we don't put in the effort to solve the problem. Here's a good example for you. You had a problem with your camera and the PC, right? Like you had like a white kind of filter problem with your video. Like you were like, oh no, I can't make a video. I was like, why don't you Google? No, I'm really bad at machines and things like that and things, but it's easy like Google it. They'll show you how to fix it. And now I don't know. I don't know how to do it. I'll just refilm it. For me, it's like refilming? <laughs> Not because I'm optimistic. I wasn't thinking like, oh, this video will magically solve itself. No, I was thinking like, I'm lazy. I don't understand technology. I might as well refilm it. Yeah, like you are lazy. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's say if it's raining outside, I think Japanese people try to look for a umbrella. We don't want to get wet, but I think you guys just don't care. Just go outside and oh, I'll go home, that's fine. Just rain. <laughs> okay, I see. So the image is that we don't stress too much. We're just laid back. Ah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. Because if you tell me about Italians being optimistic, I wouldn't agree. When it comes to work, Americans are way more optimistic than Italians. Italians are always like, yeah, you want to try and do that? Hmm, hopefully you're lucky. Maybe, yeah, we don't... 
too much. Yes. Different from what I thought. So yeah, maybe sometimes we don't we don't stress too much because we believe that a lot of our success is due to luck or circumstances. Number two. So as soon as open up, they trust you. Compared to the Japanese, yeah. yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think so though. Japanese people are more like super distant. Yes. I'm a little distant person too. I don't make a lot of friends. I just need a few close friends, then that's fine. I think Italian people make friends with everyone. You know, you guys open up easily. Totally true. I know that now most Italians are thinking like, that's not true. I don't trust people like that. I don't, I know, but it's because you've never lived in Japan. Because if you had lived in Japan, you would understand that this stereotype is totally true. Like yesterday, I went out with some friends. I knew a friend, a girlfriend, and she brought a friend along. And I brought a friend along. Two people, they didn't know each other but we talked for like five hours talking about our deepest darkest secrets saying everything because it was like poor girls yeah i like you you seem cool yeah that happens in italy in japan it doesn't really happen for a long time correct me if i'm wrong when you meet someone you talk about like safe things at first you don't go deep into feelings problems you talk about safe topics yeah safe topics so yeah this is true third one impulsive kind of moody <laughs> Compared to the Japanese? Absolutely. So now, can you please explain to me how can the Japanese people always have a straight face in like most situations? Face. Yeah, pretty much like my face is like this one, right? But Sonia's face is like... <laughs> and you're not a normal Japanese. You're expressive. I swear, a friend of mine once, she was like this and she was saying like, I have some good news. Oh my god, what's, what's up? I am pregnant. You are sad. I'm so happy. <laughs> like, how do you do that? I guess it's also that she had to speak English to you. So she was thinking, so she couldn't express her e emotional. It was a long time ago. Now I speak better <laughs> Japanese. Anyways, even when they talk about maybe a sad thing, it's very rare to see a Japanese person cry in public. Is it common to cry in public in England? <laughs> it happens. Like sometimes you see couples, especially when they're young, they are having a fight, the girl's crying. You can tell what they're feeling just by looking at them. In Japan, I feel like most times you can't really tell. They all seem... Maybe if you're young, maybe, when you get older, you have to control your emotion. But I don't think you guys try to control that. You guys just... Let it be. <laughs> well, we try to control our emotions just a little no, bit. I don't think so. I don't think so. You guys just... Well, let it be. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm sad. I'm sad. <laughs> They never sing on the street like they're having a good day. You never hear anyone singing like going to work and be like da -da 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 -da. No, we do that in our inside of us. We don't just don't show it. Oh, so you see like a perfect Saturday man, but inside he's like let this grow. Nah. No, Salary Man die inside, so 90% of them like dying inside. Don't you feel like exploding sometimes? If you don't express your emotions, don't you feel like you just want to explode? No, usually I sleep and time pills. Do you think most <laughs> Japanese keep a straight face outside, but when they go home and they're totally alone, they start bawling and crying and screaming? I don't think we don't feel as much as you feel i don't feel as much as you feel when you are like 100 percent happy i think i'm like 50 percent happy you know what i mean like when you're like 100 percent sad like i'm, I'm like 50 percent sad yeah, you yeah. don't do this uh, i just this. number four. Oh, this is interesting don't brag about your wife or kids what do you mean for example if you get married or if you have a kids your husband usually show the, the picture of them. Look, this is my kid. He's so cute. Like, she's so cute. You're saying that we don't do it or that we do? We don't do it. No, I'd say we do. The the, the man who keep it a secret is because they have different plans, maybe. In Japan, it's typical that if you have a baby, usually they started showing the picture. It's like tiring. All babies are cute. Do you do brag about your wife and kids? I'd say that we do, but not a, maybe not a, their wives. Usually men, they're not like, oh, look at my beautiful wife. I wish they did. But <laughs> their kids, yeah. Oh, this is actually interesting number five he or she isn't two-faced i think this is this is true especially compared to japan i know italians you're thinking like oh no i hide my feelings all the time no usually we're more real like if we really dislike someone we can't really hide it that much in japan trust me 
they can they can make it look like you're their best friend like oh my god i'm so happy to see you and so but they hate you and you'll never know yeah can you do that yeah i do that all the time are you doing that now maybe yes maybe not conflict of conversation is like what we try to avoid so that's a very difficult uh, different culture from italian we're definitely more straightforward of course if i work with someone and i know i have to work with that person i might try and like control my emotions to you know to have like a good relationship can you do but that? yeah we can do that we can do that we're not like no can you do that <laughs> I can't. You can tell if I like you or not. I can't hide it that well. So you know that good then. Should I start worrying about my Japanese friends hating me? Yeah, maybe. If you're too Italian. Yeah, yeah. Next question. <laughs> Do you think Italian people have sincere personality? Sincere? Like, yeah, honest. that's what we're saying. Integrity. We're ah, haha, integrity. <laughs> Are they the same thing? A little bit different, I guess. I feel like Italians wear their hearts on their sleeve like you can you can see their emotions usually we're that hiding as we were saying but integrity like sometimes italians would say something with bad intentions and maybe especially like business you know they try and do sketchy sneaky things i think italians can lie and we can be good liars can i ask something because all of these things that you said like italians can't hide their emotions italians don't stress too much italians are honest do you guys think that italians are a little stupid <laughs> no <laughs> uh, okay that's an interesting question huh? i mean like i had uh, some friends italian friends in the when i was in the states i thought they were stupid yeah they are talking about girls they are talking about like dirty jokes and what do you expect from an italian boy how old was your friend oh it was like i was 22 and he pretty much same age as us yeah but this is like a, not my opinion this is like a japanese like usual japanese think about italian i mean like <laughs> stupid <laughs> you think we're simple creatures oh yeah exactly there you go <laughs> it isn't a good word to pick. <laughs> Guys, pretty much the image that the Japanese have about us is the image we have about Americans. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, interesting because in Japan, like especially elder people, they think Americans and Italians are the same. If I say to my grandma, they can't tell the difference. But I said some good things too though. Optimistic is pretty good. You guys aren't two-faced, that's a good thing. And this is not to say that all Italians are stupid and obviously we don't think that all Americans are stupid, but the general image of being more simple, maybe. And I didn't say any word about stupid. You just made it up. <laughs> you guys have strong self-assertion. Especially women. I feel like sometimes in so. relationships, women in Japan are so delicate and soft and they accept many things. And Italian women are more... Yeah, I don't like that. You don't do that to me. You do that to me. I'm gone forever. But then again, not always. Next, talkative. Definitely, yeah. We are more talkative, but you know why? It's because we can talk about more things. If in Japan, I cannot talk about your private life, I cannot talk about your feelings, you only give me a limited amount of topics I can talk about. Yeah, that's true. This is kind of opposite. Don't stick your nose into other people's business. Oh, that's so wrong. We love... <laughs> you love stick knows into other people's business, huh? Of course. We love <laughs> with my friends. I know everything about oh. their life. Or maybe you're talking about like weird comments like, hey, you're already 33. Isn't it time to have a kid? Like sometimes that would come from a Japanese person. <laughs> you yeah. got a good question you got? <laughs> maybe in Italy that's like a wow, all right? Or sometimes like comments about your appearance. In Japan, they're pretty common. Like, oh my God. I love your small butt. <laughs> I work out every day to make it bigger, but thank you. Next one. This is so right. I'm punctual. This is not stereotype. This is true. This is the uh, truth. I love how punctual Japanese people are. The trains. Everything is on time. Oh, thank you. This is interesting. I'm punctual people don't get mad if they they are waiting or if they're like just left at the place because they know that like they're like unpunctual so they're just oh, okay yeah, yeah they couldn't wait <laughs> no i'd say in in italy like it's just accepted we can say like a time but you can come 15 minutes later it's okay you don't even have to 
apologize pretty much. That's like unpunctual culture. Japan in Japan, like unpunctual is really bad. If trains like two minutes late, like people started getting mad. But I have to say that Japan helps you being punctual. Like if you're unpunctual, it's probably on you because most likely your train was punctual, your bus was punctual, like you knew what to do to get there and you have you had no obstacles. In Italy, buses, trains might be late, you might get stuck in traffic and you had no idea, you might have problems finding a parking spot. There are things that might make you unpunctual, you know what I mean? This is pretty much similar. Uh, be tolerant not only of yourself but also of others. In Japan, like you make a mistake, you blame yourself, but if someone else make a mistake, you blame him or her too. We're more lenient. Of course, it depends on what kind of mistake. But in general, yes, we are more lenient because we know that we're all humans. In Japan, you're more strict. I like the Japanese culture. Yeah. Why well, your posture is so good? <laughs> Just admit you make a mistake and be better. Well, you really think we live in a relaxed society? Not me. I think sometimes the strict society is more relaxing for me because I know I can rely on the society and I know that they know how things get done and in Italy even though it's more lenient it's more open sometimes it's more stressful because I feel like I have to learn how to get things done and I have to be stronger and resourceful because if I'm not like that I won't get shit done what all right I that's that's all no, thank you to now because you had a lot of stereotypes. Honestly, I didn't know that the Japanese people had so many stereotypes about Italians. Like, for example, I don't think the Italians have a lot of stereotypes about Japanese people. Maybe they think, like, you're very clean, you eat sushi every day. Stereotypes. <laughs> We eat sushi every day, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but like cleanliness, for example, that's true. For me, it's difficult because I've spent so much time in Japan. I know what, I don't know what stereotypes from outside are. It might be an interesting video for your channel if you're interested. I'm good, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um. So now he is a content creator, an English teacher. So if you're trying to learn Japanese, sometimes I watch his videos because they're useful, like, you know, reverse. I'm like, oh yeah, this is how you say that in English and this is the Japanese version. So it's also useful. All of his contacts are here below. Also, he's funny and he's two-faced. So he'll pretend to be your friend and then stab you in the back. If you're looking for that, contact him. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye! Ragazzi vi ricordo Cambly 55% di sconto fino alla fine del mese, quindi ancora per pochi giorni. Approfittatene perché non tutti i mesi c'è un'offerta così alta.